Hey, what's going on everybody? I have a really exciting video for today. So my buddy gave me a sample of the Rabbit Hole Founders 15-year-old uh, bourbon aged in Mizunara, Japanese casks. So I'm super excited to try this. I, I don't know if this falls into the same uh, kind of tanked 15-year-old product that we've seen on the market, but just in case, I did pour a little bit of Doc Swinson this is uh, release batch six, just so we have something that we can kind of compare to while we're tasting through this Musinara. All right, so I'm just gonna dive right in. <sighs> Man. You're gonna have to give me a minute with this one. The nose is so densely saturated. It's like, um, oh my gosh. I don't, I don't even know what to describe that as. Like a, a delay J cake or something like that. This is, this is oozing with sweetness. And it's incredibly intriguing. It's got this, these intoxicating like exotic wood notes to it uh so i will say make a mention now go check out my previous video where i talked about the or one of the previous videos where i talked about the cognac starlight and the barstown bourbon company uh armagnac finished because you get notes in this glass that i'm going to assume are kind of similar to what the finishing is doing in there Man, this is intriguing warm wood apple pie Banana custard, toasted marshmallow, brown butter, caramel, leather. But it's those really complex warm woods, not even spiced woods, just these warm, elegant, gooey, saturated sweetness flavors mixed with these exotic woods. That's incredibly intriguing. I say exotic woods, not necessarily because I I know a whole lot. Um, it reminds me of like some Brazilian woods, or it reminds me of like various wood aromatics um, in colognes, or just from like perfumes and stuff like that. <sighs> Fragrant, aromatic for sure. <sighs> Let's go in for taste. musty barrel char bam oh i gotta go in again it's bright lead but not really citrusy the same way that the bbc armagnac or the chateau de labaud is it's um funky it's quirky but it's a little bit more darker toned um warm oak Bananas Foster, Honey, man, Tobacco, Black Pepper, like a whole spice rack. There's a lot of different spices you could pull from this. Maybe some clove, maybe some nutmeg, but kind of just a spice rack of flavors. Um, and then lingering with like a aromatic rose water too on the palate. Um, man, incredibly, incredibly intriguing. Um, it does remind me of some of those tanked 15 years. So let's go over to the Doc Swinson real quick and just see. I mean, it's just so flat on the nose. Like it does have some, like kind of that saturated caramel sweetness similarly. It's just a little flat. Palette is oaky, it's leathery, it's earthy, chocolatey. Um, it's great. Nutty. It's a raspberry. Toffee, vanilla. I mean, complex. I love Doc Swinton. These, these tank products I'm not um, opposed to. Let's go back to the rabbit hole though real quick. Just see exactly what it does. I feel like I know what it does. Uh, the, the big question is, you know, Doc Swinton, $160. Um, this here, rabbit hole. 
what, $1,100 to $1,500. A really hard pill to swallow. Um, if you are a serious collector, sure, why not? Have at it. Uh, in terms of the palette, um, I cannot get behind the price tag. Is it good? Oh, for sure. It's awesome. It takes everything that I love about Doc Swinson and makes it better, more complex, more rolled off, more balanced, more, um, more interweaving play of flavors, and then adds like some very unique exotic flavors. Not even over top. It's all woven in. Very intriguing pour. It's that retail that I'm not sure I can get behind. Would I like a bottle of this? 100%. Would love a bottle of this. Would share it. Would crush it. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Fantastic. Um, if you're one for those pours like the Doc Swinsons, like your Barstown Bourbon Company, whatever, incredible pour. The price tag, very, very hard to justify. Um, that's it. I wanted to keep it relatively short, but did it pass the flavor test? Absolutely. Fantastic pour. I am in love with it. Um, just cannot justify that cost. All right, guys, make sure you're subscribed. Shoot me some comments below. Let me know what you think about this. Have you seen any area yet? Uh, not a whole lot of bottles, only 1,400 or so bottles that we're going to see. Um, let me know your thoughts on this. What about this price tag? What is it? Where's the juice from? What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to chit-chat with you guys. Till next time, see you guys.